Hello children, welcome to week two. Today's story is called Starring Shapes. And as usual, you can find this book on Epic. So if you wanted to um, read again, then uh, just ask a parent to go on to Epic and you shall find this book. Okay, let's begin. Starring Shapes by Tanya Howells. The big day had finally arrived. Everyone at Shapeston Elementary School was excited about the auditions for the upcoming school play, especially the shapes. Triangle had already played some exciting roles. As a traffic sign, she led the way and she got lots of attention as a tortilla chip on the billboard near the library. Maybe you saw her strutting her stuff on that sailboat in the bay or as a flag on your friend's bicycle. Always the life of the party, Triangle is at her most colourful as bunting. And for Diwali one year, she and six friends made up the glittering points of a star. They lit up the night sky. It's true. Square just wants to give acting a try. He has many different interests. He is a natural at origami, a popular pick at quilting bees, and so proud to be part of your stamp collection. And he's always ready to help, either as a handkerchief or with your math homework. In his spare time, he loves to square dance, do crosswords and play checkers. Square is a swell guy to be around, but you probably knew that already. Oh shucks. Circle loves to play dress up. She dreams of being a gold medal at the Hula Hoop World Championships a famous detective's magnifying glass and the clock's face on London's Big Ben. But she likes to pretend she but she likes pretending to be a nursery rhyme moon best. So far, Circle has excelled at parachute in gym class and gets lots of compliments as a perky polka dot. She always draws a crowd at the lemonade stand in the park, but she works part time as a lemon slice. Her playful personality is hard to resist. Rectangle was born to act. He has been taking classes since he was small and he has even been on TV. He's been the cover of many popular books and magazines and taken part in art shows. Recently, he has also been busy as a tablet computer. Of course, as a jammy piece of toast, he's a very important part of breakfast. But don't let his serious side fool you. He's always up for colouring or a game of dominoes and is lots of fun as a trampoline. Rhombus, diamond to her friends, has been rehearsing lines from her favourite movies to get ready for her audition. Diamond soars high as a kite, finds a perfect fit in puzzles and dazzles in patterns. Check out your uncle's argyle socks and that snake at the zoo and she's always a favourite as shortbread at Christmas. She is as sparkly as a nickname. She would love to be a baseball diamond and hear the crowds cheer. That would be so exciting. Dream big. Orville thinks acting could be fun. He likes to try new things. He's a well-rounded fellow. As a skating rink or surfboard, he's always up for an adventure any time of year. And one day he'd like to visit some of the places he's seen as a map on the computer in the classroom. He also likes quiet activities like making fingerprint art, stretching out by the fire as a rug for story time and reflecting as a mirror. Oh yeah. In the gym, the shapes and the other students waited nervously to take their turn on stage. Good morning, the drama teacher began. It is very nice to see so many different faces today. We are putting on a special school play this year and we think it would be super if you all played a part. Everyone cheered. They couldn't wait to get started. Each day after school, everyone busied themselves with preparations for opening night. They studied their lines, rehearsed scenes, did drama exercises to develop, to develop their acting skills, made costumes and helped build and paint the sets. A few weeks later, the grand curtain went up. The students' production of Hansel and Gressel was a big hit. Everyone worked so well together and the shapes were perfect in the roles. They are all stars, even if they aren't all star shapes. Take a bow, shapes. Bravo. 
there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. See you next week.